Coyotes. Hope you have a great day. Good morning, Malika Township. Thanks for tuning in to our 50th and final episode. I'm Sarah. I'm Tyler. I'm Toast. I'm Rebecca. I'm Kieran. I'm Molly. I'm Abby. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Megan. Now let's go back to the 8th graders in the studio. I'm Brooke. I'm Sage. And I'm Millie. Thank you for tuning in to the 50th and final episode of the Malika Morning How. Before we get to today's news, please rise for the flag salute. of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, and justice for all. Today is the last day of the Pite Happy Camper Book Fair. Come and get some summer reading material. And guess how many pine cones are in a jar to win a book basket or coyote bucks? Senior band meets today at 11.05. No 8th graders need to attend. Pretzels are on sale today in the band room. Tomorrow is Carnival Day here at Malika. There will be blow-up games, a water slide, an obstacle course, paint tent, and all sorts of other fun things to do. That's right, including an opportunity to dunk Mr. Appalucci, Officer Rivera, and Mr. Harmon in the dunk tank. Now to Tyler and Toast with sports. I'm Tyler. And I'm Toast. And welcome to today's sports news. Let's start with Cedar Tree News. The girls softball team won the NJ Group 2 Championship. Also, the boys varsity baseball team made school history by making it to the playoffs. The NBA Finals are between the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's the third time in a row both teams have been in the finals together. The Warriors lead the series 2-0 with Game 3 tonight at 9. The Philadelphia Phillies are having an OK season with a record of 20 wins and 35 losses. Their next games are today and tomorrow against the Braves in Atlanta. Off to the NHL, where the Penguins and Predators are having a battle for the championship with a game tomorrow at 8. The NBA draft is on June 22nd at 4. Who do you think the number one pick will be? The NASCAR Xfinity Cup Series race this week is Sunday, June 10th at 1 o'clock at Pocono Raceway. The Philadelphia Union has a record of four wins and six losses. Their next game is June 14th at 7.30 against the City Islanders. I'm Tyler. And I'm Toast. And, and we, we just, just buttered, buttered your bread. bread. Coyote Color Wars are just around the corner. The day-long event takes place next Wednesday, June 14th. Good luck to the green and white teams. On Friday, the 7th graders are heading to the National Constitution Center and get to take a double-decker bus tour around Philly. Now to Megan and Molly with this week's Top 10 Songs. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Megan. And welcome back to another Top 10 Songs of the Week. This is the last episode. Now let's get started with number 10, Malibu by Miley Cyrus. Number 9 is Stay by Zed and Alessia Cara. Number 8 is Exo Tour Life 3 by Lil Uzi Vert. Number 7, Mass Golf by Feature. Number 6 is Something Just Like This by The Chainsmokers and Coldplay. We are halfway there with number 5, Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Number 4 is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Number three is I'm the One by DJ Khaled featuring Justin Bieber, Quavo, Chance the Rapper, and Lil Wayne. Number two is That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. And finally, number one is This Paquito by Louis Ponzi and Daddy Yankee featuring Justin Bieber. That's all the songs we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching us. See you hopefully next year. Bye! Bye. Cedar Creek High School Senior Awards Night is tonight at 6.30. In the school pack, congrats to this year's graduating class. Now let's send it to Sarah and Rebecca. The 8th graders are heading to Dorney Park in Wildwater Kingdom today for their class trip. Have fun! The 8th grade awards ceremony is on Monday, June 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Malika Gym. The 8th grade dinner dance takes place next Friday, June 16th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. at the Renault Winery. And graduation will be held in the Cedar Creek Performing Arts Center on Monday, June 19th at 7 p.m. A few weeks ago, our 8th graders did a victory lap around the school to inspire and motivate younger students. Let's take a look!
congratulations, eighth graders. Now over to Abby and Tiernan. Oh, we're live! <laughs> Summer is right around the corner, and you'll need plenty to do with all of your spare time. Here are some ideas to keep your summer interesting. and you will definitely be pleased. A high of 77 degrees with sunny skies. So enjoy the outdoor activities. And fr finally, Friday, we'll have a high of 76 and a low of 49. Well, that's all, Coyotes. And I hope to get to see you all next year. This is Stop for STEM. Tornadoes are deadly storms. Tornadoes usually form in open fields, but can acquire anywhere. Most tornadoes strike the United States in the, sp in the spring in an area of our country called Tornado Alley, which stretches from Texas to Iowa. Tornadoes form when warm and moist atmospheric air meets up with cold, dense air. These colliding air masses produce severe thunderstorms, which can make tornadoes. You can survive a tornado by going into the basement if a tornado shelter is not available. You stay away from windows because shards of glass might, might hurt you if the window shatters. You can seek shelter under a heavy table so no flying debris can hurt you or fall on you if a tornado shelter is not available. Hi, I'm Amber from Stop From STEM. Pay attention because you need to know about, about hurricanes in case one happens. Hurricanes are one of the most destructive weather events that can strike. Stay safe. You can either evacuate or decide to stay, but prepare an emergency supply kit with plenty of food and water. High winds from the storm push water to shore, so be prepared for possible flooding and high wind speeds. And, and if you live near water, one tip is to move all your possessions to a high place in home. If you know, if you know that your area flood floods, you should consider evacuating, even if you are not ordered to do, to do so. Following these tips and, and you will be safe during a hurricane. This is Stop for STEM. I am Wyatt. An average of 58 people die each year due to lightning storms in the United States. When a lightning storm is in your area, you will need to recognize warning signs, sheet Seek shelter in an enclosed structure away from windows. Stay away from electronic devices if you are outside. Avoid going under large trees power line, and power lines. If you are caught out in the open, curl up on your feet in a tuck position. 
If you are near water, seek, seek shelter immediately. Know the location and know the location of a first aid kit. Be safe, take precautions to avoid dangerous lightning storms. Better safe than sorry. Now, here is Mia with a quick DIY activity to transform your flash. Hello, welcome to Craft Me with me, Mia. Today we are going to make a black light with just using tape, blue, and purple Sharpies. First, you put the tape here where the flash comes out of your phone. You color in the piece of tape with a blue Sharpie. And then you color it in again with a blue Sharpie. And then finally, you color it in with a purple Sharpie. Back to the studio! That does it for our final episode of the Mocha Morning Howl. Thanks so much for an awesome year and tuning into all 50 shows. From all of us here at the Howl, have a great summer, coyotes! Tyler's in the bathroom, and I'm going to put whipped cream in his face. Tyler! Tyler, come here! Yeah? Wait, why don't we start recording? How do you feel? Oh, how? <laughs> because you're chosen. The stage is chair. All right, look at me. We're practicing. This is... I have a flower stuck in my head. Okay. <laughs> Ready? In five, four. You have to like yell as loud as I am, though. Okay. Because all this. Is this good? Ready? 